watch some cat video. I'm gonna watch a cat video. You wanna watch a cat video? I'm gonna watch a cat video. I'm gonna watch. Let's watch a cat video. Let's watch a cat video. Let's watch some cat videos. I love you, Granny Cat. I love you, Granny Cat. I'm watching cat videos this morning. La la la. La, I love you, Granny Cat. I love you, Granny Cat. There we are. We're live. Welcome, everybody. I think we're live. We're rolling. Cat. We're rolling. The beautiful Granny Cat. Rade, Rade, Golden. Seems to all work, you know. Ah, uh, Batman. These are previously unreleased images of Granny Cat and slight and 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 somewhat Batman. Ah, uh, beautiful Granny Cat. Look at Granny Cat. I love you, Granny Cat. You never forget your pets, man. If you don't know. Put Granny Cat up. Granny Cat's up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Granny Cat. We'll talk to you later. We'll talk to you later, Granny Cat. We'll talk to you later. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Marcus Conti. I was uh, I was caught in a in a in a meditative loop, remembering my my cat, Granny Cat, Batman, and uh, talk about mental loops today. Mental loops. The uh, the mental loop between Don Lemon, Don Lemon, the the guy, the CNN guy, the black gay, identifies black gay uh, uh, leftist. Uh, who got fired from CNN went to the X platform to uh, to 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 deal with and or work with Elon Musk at the uh, X platform, and it turned out Don Lemon's career was cut very very short right after the first interview. He got an interview with the boss, and then he tried to be the boss. Right? That doesn't that doesn't really work. Right? But there's a greater there's a greater uh, element in this in this uh, interview. Right, uh, Don Lemon put it on his site, so we're going to talk about it. Um, and Elon Musk, you, you see what, what you see is the divide. You see a kind of a divide, and Elon Musk is from South Africa. <laughs> He's barely American. He's only half American. He only made his money here. But you see the the vast divide between left and right. And uh, even when asked, <clears throat> Elon Musk at one point asks Don Lemon. Uh, or he identifies Don Lemon as being on the left, and Don Lemon says, "I, I don't know what you're talking about." As if, as if Don Le, Don Lemon is discovering, uh, he's trying to convince uh, Elon Musk that he's he doesn't even know what left is. Doesn't I don't even know what it is. Uh, so these are fascinating subjects. So I think they they I think they show the the breakdown in communication, the the, the vast uh, vast divide. Amongst people uh, today, um, you could point to the pandemic for that reason, for the isolation people uh, suffered. But it, it looks like um, they suffered from the isolation because they didn't know what to do with it. Uh, but uh, you see the the uh, the vast divide uh, in in um, in in perspective, right? right? Don Lemon is is in my view in out of space, whereas. Elon Musk seems to be about two or three questions, two or three concerns ahead, right? He's not he's not looking at at skin color and and uh, and such. He's looking at the bigger picture. It's just it just seems obvious to me that um, a lot of people say you know uh, uh, I, I don't know what people are saying, but I watched it. I didn't watch it all. I watched most of it, but we'll watch some clips today, and you decide. Who won the the uh, the the interview, right? Because somebody has to win, right? Isn't that what interviews are about? You go against the other guy and and you lock horns, and whoever insults the other guy more, and, and whoever comes out looking the smartest wins, right? Isn't that the 
Isn't that the rules of the interview, according to CNN and the way uh, the way the media plays it? Or is it just someone like Elon Musk who's trying to be as rigorously honest and truthful as he possibly can? And uh, he's forced into playing verbal ping pong with, with some idiot right, who got fired from CNN and is now looking for his, uh, his, his level. Uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll look at those stories. My name is Marcus Conte. Here's the thumbnail today. There's uh, uh, Dirty Don Lemon, D- Dirty Don, uh, and uh, the great Elon Musk. The great Elon Musk. I, I was watching, um, I was listening to something uh, Don Lemon talked about. I can't play the whole, th- the whole video because it's an hour uh, plus interview. But we'll watch the best of it. And um, at one point, Don Lemon asks uh, Elon Musk what he's working on. And Elon Musk has this fascinating... Uh, vision of a new vehicle. Don Lemon asks him, can the vehicle fly? And and, and uh, Elon Musk says, it might. <laughs> so they're working on some, some uh, Elon Musk is a great inventor. Right? He's one of the great, I think, I think arguably Donald Trump is probably one of the most famous and fascinating human beings on the planet. But history will record Elon Musk as the great invent, uh, great inventor. Elon Musk is, you know, William Pasteur. He's 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 Charles Darwin. He's um, he's Galileo. <laughs> right? That's who Elon Musk is. Right? We don't know it now, but that's who he is. Historically, Elon Musk invented so many things: his, his SpaceX projects, his uh, his uh, electric vehicles that <clears throat> that are soon to fly, his uh, his. His perception of media, the way he's transforming Twitter into a truthful platform, despite uh, all of the, uh, uh, the the controversy around that. Genius. Really, really quite a brilliant guy, uh, Elon Musk, in my view. And my name is Marcus Conti. Um, I'm not as brilliant, but I'm here every morning anyway. Monday through Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, right here in the United States of America. Um uh, we're, we're live every day at 9 a.m. Monday through Thursday, uh, four-day work week here in the United States of America, the great states, while they still stand. Uh, you can um, join us every morning uh, right here live like these fine people are on YouTube. Uh, I'll tell you, X is looking pretty good, man. X, the only problem with X and, and moving over to X is that you have to pay right, to put full-length videos and live videos. YouTube's still offering it for free, but it's censored. So, you know, what, what good is it, really? And it's just a place to, you know, to, to get your chops up, right? Because no one's fucking listening here anymore because they're not allowed to. They get, they get censored, right? So we, we, may, we may move to Twitter with the great Elon Musk. Why not? Uh, I just got to find a way to make it uh, affordable, if you will, um, or, or free, <laughs> I might have to make the videos. Uh, I think you can post now up to a half an hour on on uh, Twitter. So uh, we may work to to uh, at least do the videos here live and then move them over to uh, Twitter. But they have to be under a half an hour, which is something I'd have to work on because these videos tend to the live videos go over over half an hour. They're close more closer to one hour. So. Maybe I can do some editing, chopping shit out and, and making it a half hour, putting putting them up on uh, Twitter. Twitter, right? We're going to Twitter. Uh, what about Twitter? Uh, let's start here. Let's start here. Uh, if you're messing with the police, even if you're a woman and you're black, you may still get punched in the face if you try to bite the cop. That's right. Biting a cop, according to this black woman who was caught stealing in the store, Yo, man, get off me, bitch. I'm going to bite you and bang. Oh, man, you bit the cop and you got knocked unconscious. All right, watch one more time. Watch, watch, watch. There's the bite. Uh, cop tries to, he tries, she tries to bite him. Right? Ah, look at the teeth. Ah, like a fucking animal. Like an animal. She's trying to bite the cop. Get your hands off me, white cop. Right, and boom. Direct, direct punch in the jaw, man. That was a good shot. I don't know where they are, really. Bow. That's what happens when you try to bite a cop, man. Good job. Good job, police. Good job. There. 
This is fascinating, too. You want to see something amazing, right? Um, now, imagine you're in a, in a war zone, right? You're in a fucking war zone or, or an earthquake zone, right? And, and you're sleeping, right? And you want to survive the war, the bomb or the earthquake, right? So what you do is you, you buy yourself a bed that's actually a, uh, a capsule that will save you. Well, watch this. This is amazing. Right? It's an amazing invention. Watch Emergency this. bed switch triggers, <laughs> making the bed along with the person to descend into a box, forming a sturdy shelter. But the box is not completely sealed. It is equipped with a ventilation system to ensure people can breathe. And it's also filled uh -huh. with your favorite snacks, drinks, and survival tools, ensuring you can survive for several days. Subscribe for more. This bed will save your life. As the bed detects strong vibrations, it activates immediately. The emergency bed switch triggers, making the bed along with the person to descend into a box, forming a sturdy shelter. But the box is not completely sealed. It is equipped with a ventilation system to ensure people can breathe. And it's also filled with your favorite snacks, drinks, and survival. So, so, the, so the, the box, right, you, you descend into a coffin that has everything you need in there. You, you can live there for days and, and weeks in a coffin, right, in a live coffin. <laughs> What have we become as a, as a people, right? What, what, if, what if the apocalypse comes and millions of people have these things, right? And, and suddenly the apocalypse happens and, and, and the, the, the next generation of whoever's come down and look and they see all of these people, human beings locked in their own live coffins, right? That, that had some degree of uh, life support, but it ended because it, it ran out. The battery ran out, right? Fucking... No evidence. Fast. This bed will save your life. <laughs> it will save your life. This is fucking amazing, man. Now, Elon Musk should should do that, man. He should he should make some of those beds. One other uh, interesting point too. Uh, I want to talk about the tuition and then uh, a little bit on uh, Sean Sean Puffy Cohen getting railed. Tuition at these elite New England universities will hit eye popping ninety thousand dollars a year. $90,000 per year to go to college, right? And uh, so where's the money coming from? Who pays for that? A lot of it is uh, tuition reimbursement, right, is uh, uh, financial aid. But a lot, of those, a lot of that is very, very wealthy people sending their kids to these schools. It's Harvard. What, what are the schools? We're talking about Boston University, Tufts, uh, Wellesley, Yale, um, Harvard came in uh, just over 70, but they're going to crank it to 90 soon. So it looks like $90,000 is the new norm for an Ivy League education. Nine, 18, 27, 36. That's $360,000 for a college education. Amazing, right? Almost a half a million dollars to become a millionaire, right? It's about a half a million because there's other expenses in there too, right? Especially if you're a rich person. What about spring break? What about uh, what about summers in Europe, in in, in, in Southeast Asia? There's always huge. Uh, so just uh, just I don't know, man. I don't know who could pay for it. Who's going to pay for this this fucking tuition at ninety thousand dollars, right? When I went to college, tuition was five grand. Uh, five grand at Syracuse, big school. Uh, now it's fucking ninety five. So I, I'm still trying to unpack this. Uh, Sean Diddy Combs, uh, the, the great rapper, uh, 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 John Sean uh, clothing line, right? It's a clothing line genius, right? Uh, rapper made his money on the back of producing uh, other rappers. And people like to hear this garbage, uh, garbage. Uh, and he, he knows how to sell it. Right? So, but they're coming at him. Federal office officials were acting on specific allegations of sex trafficking when they raided two of Diddy's homes. This story fucking stinks of, of we're going to get you, right? There is, he has not been, they raided his two homes. They raided this guy's two homes over sex, uh, sex allegations from, from a bunch of fucking crybabies, people crying, some, some gay guy saying that Sean fucking attacked her. They, they're acting on another woman who's 35 years old, says that, that Sean paid her for sex sometimes, a 35-year-old woman. I don't know why he would do that. 
35 year old women usually want it for free. <laughs> the, the whole story doesn't make sense. It just, there's nothing, there's nothing to bite into. He's not been charged with any crimes. Uh, they raided his house. Homeland Security raided his house looking for hard drives, phones, and other evidence. Fishing expedition. That's not the way the country is supposed to work. It's not supposed to be innocent and, and, until we prove you guilty uh, or the opposite. You're guilty until, we pro- until you can prove yourself innocent. Let him prove his innocence. Remember when Nancy Pelosi said that about Trump? Oh, that's okay. Just arrest him and let him prove his innocence. That's the opposite. That's the opposite of freedom. You're not supposed to be prosecuted in your own country for not committing a crime. So, again, I don't, I don't see it. Show it to me. Show me the crimes that Mr. Combs has committed, please. I, I, I mean, you're talking about a rapper, right? There's some hot chick sitting on a rapper's lap, right? Who fucking cares, man? That's what you know what you're getting yourself into. You're hanging out with rappers. They're singing about bling bling and 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 guns and and shit right. if you want to if you don't like it don't hang out with these people don't hang out with a guy like combs if, if you don't like his opinions uh, on things right the same could be said about you know the the players in metallica right it's all the same right rock and roll rock guys that had you know 25 girlfriends and and such right so this is this is bullshit right here this is bullshit this guy's a rock star right He's a rock star. He's just, he's a rock star in, a, in the sense of his genre of music. No doubt, right? He has beyond rock star status at this point. As, as uh, Gene Simmons in Kiss famously said that the rappers are the new rock stars. Uh, they're not trying to be sensitive. They're, they are the rock stars. They bling bling. They're, they're shameless about spending Big diamonds, big jewels, big, you know, fast cars, champagne, smoking hookah. They don't care. Right? They, they're just, they're right out there enjoying their, their uh, life. The new rock stars. So, uh, but uh, I don't know, man. They, they got these, they got these somebody, um, some, somebody, including three women and one man, man, who are suing Diddy in civil court. Well, civil court, you can fucking sue all you want. It doesn't matter, really. Uh, you're knocking the guy's door down in, in Miami and Los Angeles, and you're detaining him at the airport, not letting him get on his own plane that he owns, and he flies for himself. Right? Uh, they're trying to hammer this guy, right? I, I, don't, I don't know who's going after him. Um, I don't know, man, but you better align. I think he should align with the Trump, the MAGA movement. <laughs> To save his own ass. Right? This is the, this is the Biden people coming after you, man. They're, they're coming after you because you're not, you're not in support. You're an uppity black, and you're only an uppity black because the Democrats allowed you to be an uppity black. And we're gonna take that shit away from you unless you align yourself with us. Is that crazy thinking? I think it's. I think politics is part of this. There's no other reason for it. There's no other reason why why Sean Sean Puffy come why him why now I don't I don't get it I don't get it so let's watch some of uh, Elon Elon Musk um, e- Elon Musk censorship and I don't no I don't want censorship yes you do no I want responsibility we don't agree on this yes you want censorship and I don't no I don't want censorship yes you do no yes, you I do. want responsibility you desperately want censorship no if I want a censorship you want censorship so bad you can taste it no that's not true I think that there's right and wrong. Um, I think we have a responsibility to adhere to the law, and if people want the law changed, they should talk to their elected representative and get the law changed, and right. then we will adhere to the law. But if you want us to go beyond the law, that is us deciding to be censors. So, and I'm against censorship. I'm in favor of freedom of speech. And free- there you go. There you go. Elon Musk arguing about freedom of speech. Don Lemon is saying, no, 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 we don't censor. We, we're responsible. We're, we're acting responsibly by taking people away from... We're taking people down, dangerous people like Donald J. Trump. Right? They, they, the guy, Don Lemon, sees himself as a, a freedom fighter, as an advocate of a free press, and, and, uh, and the responsible father figure Don Lemon thinks he is. Right? I'm, I'm acting responsibly. We have to, of course we have to censor Donald Trump, isn't he? He's, he's so dangerous to the next generation, right? That's what Elon Musk is trying to simply point out, is that you are for censorship. You're for shutting 
you're sh- for shutting people down because you disagree with their opinions. Right? Uh, and you, you, you say, oh, it's dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's not dangerous to anybody. Words are never dangerous. It's your, it's your mental instability that uh, creates the danger, really. Very hate speech on the platform that you wouldn't hate have speech. to answer these questions. What is hate speech? We, nobody, he's asking, he's asking uh, Elon Musk about hate speech. Hate speech is, um, does not exist, really. What is hateful speech? It's speech that somebody doesn't like. It's just speech. Right? It's just words. You don't have to listen to them. If you don't like the words that are being spoken, don't listen to them. Just walk away. Right? From re- that's the Supreme Court ruling. That's not Marcus Conti. The hate speech essentially doesn't exist. It's just borders about the Great Replacement Theory. It's only when when it's used. Uh, it's when it's used like in a public accommodation, or when it's when it's used to exclude certain people from certain you know uh, advantages in life. Uh, then you could argue that. That uh, that's that speech is being uh, it's that's that's different. That's a different e- equity. But just words is nothing. Theory as it relates I to don't Democrats. have to answer these questions. The great replacement theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that I don't have to answer questions from a reporter? See, Don Lemon has a head full of bullshit. Right? He has a head full of garbage. The the great replacement theory. And and if you don't agree with that theory, if you don't understand that theory, then you're not e- educated enough to have this discussion with me. And and therefore you're the racist then you hate Jews. <laughs> I'll say something. That's, that's the, um, that's what $90,000 a year at Yale will get you. It'll get you in a box right, where you can't communicate with anybody else. You can't communicate with normal human beings anymore. You have to talk to people that have been programmed in the same way you have been programmed for $90,000 a year. And when you step outside of that $90,000 a year bubble, you look at everybody and say, my God, how different they are. And then you start to agree, oh, they're, they're inferior because, because we're the superior mind here, right? We're, we're in the bubble, right? I think, that's, that's, um, I think that, that it used to be looked at as intellectualism to improve one's mind, improve one's uh, sense of history, sense of politics was... Uh, was sought after, right? I guess it still is, but it, it now seems that the education system is working to a disadvantage, right? And uh, you see it kind of dismantling at the lower levels, but at the higher levels, it's getting it's getting more intense. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Otherwise, I would not do interview this interview. Do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that there constantly. Was... I could care less. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? Do you believe X has... Uh, it, it's Does, just why would that question upset you? You seem upset by it, are you? I think you... And I'm not trying to upset you. The way, well, you are upsetting me because the way you're phrasing the questions, I think, is, is not cogent. Um, it's not uh, what? Not cogent. Cogent. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, so, uh, the... If, 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 if given a choice where an advertiser is saying, like, you have to censor all this content on the, on the platform, irrespective of whether advertising appears, uh, then our answer will be like, look, you, you, you can choose where you want your advertising, what you want your advertiser to appear next to, but you can't insist on censorship of the entire platform. And if you insist on censorship of the entire mm-hmm. platform, right. even where your advertising doesn't appear, uh, then uh, obviously we will, we will not uh, want them as an advertiser. Does, why would that question have said, you see... <laughs> Anyway, I don't know much much about that. There's one more clip, and then we'll watch uh, more of the substantial Lee, part of it. You point to medicine. You claim that DEI programs are putting people at risk. Do you really believe this to be true, and what evidence do you have to support it? Um, what I was referring to there was that if uh, if we lower the standards for doctors... If we lower the standard, listen, listen to what, what, what uh, Elon Musk is saying and that Don Lemon can't understand. If you have doctors in a school, in a medical school, and you lower the standards, right? You make it like they can get an F and still pass, for example. Right? That that would put people in danger because you're under the fucking knife. This guy's a surgeon, trained to be a surgeon. He got an F in, in using the knife. And now he's operating on you. No, he needs an A. Right? That's what Elon Musk is arguing. And Don Lemon doesn't get it. Uh, so, so that they... You know, watch, watch, watch. watch. That's- you claim that DEI is killing people specifically 
you point to medicine, you claim that DEI programs are putting people at risk. Do you really believe this to be true? And what evidence do you have to support it? Um, what I was referring to there was that if, uh, if we lower the standards for doctors, uh -huh. uh, such, so that they, you know, if, if the test for a doctor is lowered, uh, that, then the probability of them making a mistake and killing someone is obviously going to be higher. Right. Wait, say that again. I'm not sure I understand what you said. Uh, you don't. What don't you understand? If you have an you have an inexperienced, less trained doctor, he's likely to make more mistakes. You don't. What don't you understand, Don? What, what's what's hard to understand? I want to make sure I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yes. If, what you're if, the, if the standards for passing medical exams and becoming a doctor, or, or especially something like a surgeon, if the standards are lowered, yes, uh, uh, then. It, the probability that the surgeon will make a mistake is higher. They're making mistakes in their exam. They, they may make mistakes with people, and that may result in people dying. What evidence do you have, though, that they're lowering the standards? I mean, there's no evidence of that. There's a ton of evidence Don Lemon is lying right now. There's a ton of evidence that colleges are lowering their, lowering their standards. They eliminated the SATs for, for entrance. They routinely use affirmative action, putting people of minorities into places of uh, uh, advance, pushing them to the front of the line with inferior uh, marks, inferior grades. There's tons of evidence. That's evidence, with Don Lemon. Uh, uh, test scores and, and not using tests to get into college is evidence. Well, I believe there Those is. Those standards are being lowered. It's you claim that DEI is killing people specifically. So, so that that's so. Here's the here's the interview. Here's uh, more more where we can uh, digest it a little bit. This is uh, this is this is fascinating right here. This is Elon Musk talking about uh, mental health. Now, I say I say I still will argue that Elon Musk, the the gentleman we're talking about, is one of the great inventors of our time. He is Charles Darwin. He is. You know, Galileo, right? He's more Sigmund Freud than Sigmund Freud, right? He's um, uh, a fascinating, fascinating guy who builds, you know, rocket ships with life support and, and is building a car that flies, right? And, and he's got, you know, it, this guy's fucking brilliant, right? He's using all his money to advance science like nobody else in history. Nobody, nobody... No, no scientist in, in history used all of their wealth to advance the science. Uh, he's going the other way. He's letting all his money ride on the science, as opposed to a guy like Jeff Bezos, who's floating around on a boat with his, with his sexy wife all the time. And that's his, that's his claim to fame. But Elon Musk is going the other way, right? So anyway. Listen, I'm not asking you anything that anyone else hasn't asked you about um your controversial stuff that you tweet. You post a lot of controversial stuff. Is that considered blowing off steam? Um, mm. <laughs> well, I, I guess I do en enjoy using the platform. I mean, I do call... Um, blowing off steam. What does that mean? It's hate speech? Oh, Don Lemon is offended. You said something that offends me. I'm, 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 I don't know. We got to censor him. We got to take him down. It's, hell it's hateful. It's, it's, it's dangerous. That's what Don Lemon is saying. He's saying that, that casual speech in some way endangers him. Right? He's afraid of speech. Uh, it's fucking crazy, right? It's, cra it's craziness. The ex he doesn't see it, though. That's, that's the, uh, the fascinating part of it. He, has, he does not see it at all. From the, the PD. Because he's been trained that way. He's, been, he, he went, he's a product of that Ivy League uh, think tank mentality. And of course we're right, and of course they're wrong because we're the educated class. We have the, the, the colleges and the, and the corporations behind us. Of course we've made it, and that fool is is an idiot. That's how that's how they see the world. That's how the the liberal elites see you. Right? They sit in New York and California, and they look at the middle of the country, and they say, they say, "Look these stupid white." Close-minded idiots, right? That that we should that are, are available just for our own fucking fun. Right? That's essentially how it how it. <laughs> that's a crude way of looking at it, but that's how the, how New York and L.A. look at the middle of the country. They really do. P or player versus player uh, platform. Um, so in video games, there's uh, player versus like environment. Um, 
He's going he's gonna to talk about his uh, ketamine use. It was fascinating. Listen. Where you're not playing against other people. Um, and then there's PvP, which is like hardcore. You're actually playing against other people. And, uh, but that's blowing off steam for you. Yeah. What are you talking yeah, about? It, it, it is to some degree. Not always. I mean, I would say use it. It's called having fun, you jackass. That is blue off steam. Or, They're always looking for a gotcha. And guys like John Le Don Lemon. He's got, it's got to be a gotcha or it's not a good interview. Right? Uh, to post jokes, to post... Uh... Does Don Lemon ever agree with anybody unless he's black and gay and, and got something sticking out his ass? Uh, does Don Lemon ever agree with anybody? I don't know. Uh, you know... I think his career is over, by the way, after this. Sometimes trivia, uh, sometimes things that are of great importance. Uh, so you do a lot of it at night, like late at night. So when you're doing this, are you, are you sober when you do mm. it? Like, almost always, yeah. Are you yes. under the influence of anything? Uh, no, I don't, I don't drink. I don't really... No, I... No. So you got no drink, no smoke, no nothing? I mean, you smoke pot with Rogan. I had one puff. Yeah. I think he had a puff with Rogan. Okay. All right. Uh, they're trying to corner him now. He's not a pothead. He just told you. Do you believe him? He doesn't like weed. He doesn't smoke. All right. But what does he like? Anyone who smokes pot can tell I don't know how to, how to smoke pot. But you he doesn't like it. It's not his thing. Right? Let's take it at face value. He's not a pothead. He's, a, he's just a brainiac. Right? But, but, but he likes something else. You admitted that you've had, you have a ketamine prescription. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's Ketamine prescription. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, that's a gotcha. Don, uh, uh, Elon Musk is on ketamine. That's what, that's the, that's how Don Lemon wants to spin it. Uh, he's a ketamine head, see? See, he found something that he's using for his advantage, and he has to be stopped. What's that for? What's well, it for? I mean, it's pretty private to ask somebody about a medical prescription, you know. Right, right. Don Lemon just asked uh, uh, Elon Musk about his uh, his medical prescription. Why don't you mind your own fucking business? It's medical now, you see? Ah, it's medical. You can't ask me about that. It's medical. It's like medical marijuana. You can't ask me. You can't ask me. It's medical. How are you? Do it's a do doctor. It's, it's, it's patient, doctor, doctor confidence. All right. Medical. It's all medical now. No, everything's medical. Um, if it's medical, you can you can do it. <laughs> it's not bad anymore. Uh, it's I think it's, it's something I'd say like mm -hmm. uh, th there are times when I have. Um, this is fascinating. What he's going to talk about. He's going to listen to Elon Musk, the genius, tell you about what depression is. Watch watch Elon Musk's definition of depression, and how he uses ketamine to uh, somehow uh, short circuit that. Sometimes let's listen. It's sort of. Uh, I don't know, at like, a, like a negative chemical state in my, uh -huh. in my brain. Right. Uh, like depression, I guess. You know, right. or, or, or like depression that's not linked to any negative views. Um, and it's not linked to any negative views. Right? His depression, Don, uh, Elon Musk is testifying, it's not linked to any, you know, set of ideas or anything. It's just there. Right? That's what he's saying. It's, I don't know, it's chemical. It's there. Right? Why is it there? I don't know. Right? You seem to, if you want to say you know, you know, but nobody knows why it's there. Right? That's, his, that's his testimony. That's his truthful testimony about ketamine. And, and then uh, ketamine. About depression and his use of ketamine. It's helpful for uh, getting, getting one outside, out of a negative yeah. frame of mind. Right. Well, listen, I, 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 in fact, I generally, you know, obviously I'm not a doctor, but I would say uh, if someone has depression... You're not a doctor. He's not a, he says he's not a doctor, but he's a, he's a guy who builds rockets with life support and fucking, you know, cars that fly. The guy's smart. Right? Uh, doctors are not generally smart today. Doctors are order takers. They go to the same colleges, the $90,000, $200,000 a year college, and, and they come out a, a machine, right? You can fucking use AI and get the same exact answer out of AI as you can a 12-year a, a, a uh, fucking medical student. It's the same information coming out the hole. Issues they should consider talking to the doctor about ketamine instead of SSRIs. Listen, I, I think that um, ketamine uh, and drug therapy is uh, increasingly becoming more in the mainstream. Yeah. Do you think that you're doing it under a doctor's care, right? Yeah, yeah. Literally a prescription from an actual, a real doctor, not like, you know. Yeah, but do you, uh, do you feel like you ever abuse it? I don't think so. If you use too much ketamine, you can't really get work done. Yeah, so I have a lot of work. 
do, why, why is Don Lemon asking Elon Musk if he abuses his prescription? Why is that? Think about it. He's using something. Listen to what he's saying. He's using something to short circuit his mind every once in a while. And he's, he's getting a good result with it. Why, would, why is Don Lemon inclined to say, are you abusing it? To what? To get a headline? Oh, I told you, Elon, Elon Musk, he's, he's fucking strung out on ketamine, right? And you'll have a whole line of kids that'll come up. See, yeah, I, I got high. I, I was at Elon Musk's beach party, and, and, and he came, he rolled up on me with a basket full of ketamine and said, here, kids, enjoy, right? You'll get some jerk off that'll say that, right? Because of Don Lemon's stupidity, so I'm, I'm he's a he's, Elon Musk is a is a very famous, very very wealthy person. That that shit could happen easily to him. We put in like you know sixteen hour days. That's normal for me, and it's it's, it's rare for me to even take off a weekend day. So I don't really have like you know a situation where I can be. Mm not mentally acute for right. an extended period of time. So he says he gets work first, and then he, he, he will uh, fuck around with uh, ketamine later. Like, I can't, I can't really get wasted because uh, I can't get my work done. So how often do you take it? Uh, That's good questions. I, I, I give, I'll give Don Lemon. Uh, it's a good content, uh, asking Elon Musk about this. It, it is. It's pretty good. Um, well, it's, it'd be like... A small amount once every other week or something like that. Once, a, once every other week, small amount every other week. That's hardly, um, that's like shamanism, right? That's like ritual, right? Every two weeks they have the ritual, right? That's, that's uh, beyond responsible, beyond, uh, he found something that works. But there's, I mean, there's not on the bottle where it says take this dose this many times a week or whatever. If it's yeah, not the there's a dose. And I, I, it's, there, there are several weeks will go by where I don't use it. You don't use it. Yeah. I think it's just, it, like I said, I think the, the, the what I find kind of is if you, if you have like literally like mm-hmm. a chemical state in your brain, yeah. that you can't, you can't just think yourself out of. Right. Then, uh, ketamine can ha- is helpful for getting you out of a depressive mind state. If you're in a mental state that you can't get out of, you can't think your way out of, listen to what he's saying. It's fascinating, right? You can use a substance to, to, to get your, to snap out of that, that, uh, uh, mind frame. Now, certain foods can do that too. Exercise can certainly do that. There's a lot of things that can trigger that, but, but he's, he's pointing to, uh, this particular thing, ketamine, right? Some people point to mushrooms. Some people point to cannabis. Some people point to occasional alcohol use, uh, for the same, uh, and, uh, and the medical professional will tell you all of those things are wrong, except for our antidepressants. Take our pills. Right? But, uh, but, but uh, in a free society, in a, uh, Elon Musk found something that works for him. That's all I'm trying to say. You suffer from depression or you have a depressive mindset? No, he's not suffering from depression, you idiot, in the, in the clinical sense. Here's Don Lemon trying to diagnose Elon Musk as clinically depressed. That's not what he's saying at all. He's saying in, in mind, inside the mind, there is an occasional shift into depression. Not just me, all people. I, I just see it. You don't see it, and you think it's some sort of clinical state. No, it's the human state. Right? Depression is part of the human makeup. It's, it's chemical. They, I asked you as someone who has suffered from depression. I wouldn't say that I... I I wouldn't say that so I, Don Lemon confesses, I suffer from depression. That means you do too. No, no, no. There's only one depression. I suffer from it, and, and, and you have to suffer from it too. Because my doctor told me, Don Lemon says, my doctor told me that I have depression, and I have to take these pills. I have like a, a case of like extended depression. Um, it's just once in a while. Once I get in a while. A, a negative sort of chemical mind state. Once in a while. It's not a... Look. See, you know what the the thing about thing about this is you you need to listen to what he's saying. Right? He's telling you his actual experience, right? and Don Lemon is trying to trying to opinionate the 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 fucking argument. Right? He's trying to he's trying to well, my my experience is that I have depression and I I abuse my medication because I'm a fucking radical homo fucking racist. <laughs> Common thing. Um, 
But once in a while, it does happen. Where do you think that comes from? Right. I think it's just genetic, basically. Don, there it is. There it is. Elon Musk says, where do you think depression comes from? And he says, it's genetic. It's just genetic. It's, that's it. Don Lemon, let's see how Don Lemon swallows that one. You think it's just genetic? History? Yes, you jerk off. I think so. Um, yeah. I mean, some people are just mm -hmm. wired, wired to be right. happy all the time. Uh, some are, unfortunately, wired to be sad a lot of the time. Yes. Um, and in my case, uh, I'm, you know, I'm generally pretty, pretty positive and optimistic. Uh, but once in a while, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what happens to some... Uh, you're, you're, I do know, I'll tell you what happens, Elon. You're a human being, and that's just the planet is spinning at a fucking, you know, 6,000 miles an hour, and, and we're glued to it through gravity, and we're floating around in space. Nothing is consistent, right? <clears throat> Nothing, right? The temperature is fluctuating between zero and 100 fucking degrees Fahrenheit. Right, and the wind is blowing, and 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 the food is changing, and the water is fucking polluted. Right, there's there's things that will trigger that. Right, it's not just, it's not just some some, you know, garbage sitting on a psychiatrist's table and saying, yeah, your mother didn't treat you well, and and, and that's why you're depressed. Right? There's a million reasons why, right? and it's not important. What Elon Musk is telling you is that it doesn't matter why. He's telling you, all he's telling you is that it is. It's there. And this is what I do to treat it. Why it's there? I don't, what, what difference does it make? What difference would it make if I knew why it was there? All I'm doing is going to the source and fixing it and, and, and dealing with it. Like I said, I think it's just chemical tides in your brain once in a while. It's like a brain storm. Brain storm. Yeah. Do you ever worry that this may get in the way of your government contracts and clearances? Uh, see, now, now Don Lemon says, oh, see, you take drugs. No, no, no. He takes a prescription from a doctor, Don Lemon. Elon Musk is not a drug addict. Elon Musk is not going down to East L.A. or down to fucking, you know, Philadelphia and buying his ketamine on the street. He has doctors. He said, it, this, is, this is pharmaceutical stuff, right? There's no, there's no crimes here. There's no criminal, nothing. No crime. And, and, all, so, and, and Wall Street as well. And he's wondering, do you, do, you, do you worry that Wall Street's going to take their money away from you because you take ketamine? What a stupid question. Right? Don Lemon, that's why you lost your platform. Well, from a standpoint of Wall Street, uh, what matters is uh, execution. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, are you building value for investors. Um, mm -hmm. or Tesla is worth uh, about as much. Let's, look, let's, let's look at the market, and then we'll come back to the uh, great Elon Musk. Great great uh, interview so far. I love it. I love it. Uh, oh, yeah. So the market is open. Uh, NASDAQ is down 6, Dow up 35 to almost $40,000. Uh, 40000 the Dow is almost. It's at 39,795. S&P 500 is up two and a half. And the big story on Wall Street is Sam Bankman Freed. You remember Sam? Sam, the, uh, the young man who thought he was going to blow the whistle on Wall Street and all the dirty politicians that made a lot of money on his cryptocurrency scam. And he was going to blow the whistle on them. And then they turned around and said, no, 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 Sam. That's not how it works around here. When, when shit goes wrong, you take the fall. You're the fall guy, Sam. Remember Sam's story? They, they, they threw the book. Uh, that's the Southern District of New York. That's the Epstein fucking kangaroo court. Same court that's dragging Sean Puffy Combs through the mud right now. Combs, Mr. Combs is down there too. So uh, Sam Bank and Freed is, in, is fucked right now. He's looking at 40 to 50 years in prison for his uh, involvement in uh, a business of cryptocurrency that it didn't have a, a, an underlying asset that was suitable for government. <laughs> right? it, was, it was a bit of a Ponzi scheme, right? They'll come at, look, they can come at Trump with the same thing, right? What is the underlying asset? Right? You look at a lot of companies and, and the underlying asset is garbage. And, and, but Sam Bankman Freed, he, again, this is the same story. He's young, he's, he's, he didn't know what he was doing, and he tried to blow the whistle and say that, not only is my business, if my business is a scam, then everybody involved in it is also a scam because they know exactly what we're doing. 
Right? No, there wasn't any uneducated investors here. They knew that we were scamming and we made a lot of money on it, right? But you can't do that on Wall Street because those are powerful people and, and, and you, you just can't do that. So you, Sam Bankman-Fried learned his, he, he's, he's not just learning a lesson. He's, he's telling, his example tells the world, don't fuck with us, right? the wealthy, the powerful. So Sam Bankman-Fried uh, is about to get thrown in prison for 50, 40 to 50 years and we'll find out more about that today because it's the sentencing today. How's everything else doing? Let's look at Trump. Trump stock. Trump stock. There is no other anymore. There's only Trump. Um, amazingly, Trump. Trump is Trump stock. T. Uh, uh, <clears throat> T. J. T. Excuse me. D. Donald J. Trump. D. As in dog. J. T. On the Nasdaq is is trading. This is the third day trading. And it's holding, it's holding, holy smokes, it's holding, I can't believe it. It's holding at, um, it's holding at $66.72 a share. That is fascinating, man. Donald Trump is the, is the, the great entrepreneur. It was up to 70 this morning. All right. It was up to 70 a few minutes ago. Now it's uh, 66 again. But it's holding. This is an amazing, an amazing run, right? It, it's amazing. The stock uh, was supposed to IPO at 50. Right? And now it, it's, it went as high as, it looks like, 79.80. And it's, it's holding right in the middle. It's, that's good. It's finding the middle, 65. If it balances off at 65 and stays there, fascinating job, fascinating opportunity for Donald Trump to uh, to cash in on his um, on his, uh, uh, his success, right? So what else is going on in the uh, markets? We got Nvidia up seven. Nvidia, <clears throat> Google up 16 cents. Apple down two dollars. Amazon up 85 cents. Meta, formerly Facebook, four dollars and seventy cents. Microsoft uh, is down 50 cents. I'll tell you, man, I think Twitter, when Twitter, when Elon Musk gets around to bringing uh, Twitter slash X back public, um, I think it's going to be big. I think, I think it'll be a big deal. Right now, he has, he's, they're setting it up the right way. It's taking a while. Uh, but I think Twitter is going to be a, uh, a real force in, in media uh, again. Uh, soon, right? Well, like it once was until it got corrupt and the FBI was all over it and, and government fucking ruined it. Uh, and Elon Musk had to buy it and take it off the market and, and redesign it and then he'll bring it back public. Right? That's, what I, that's my prediction with Twitter. It's going to be, don't, don't, uh, don't quit on X. Um, Bitcoin up nine hundred and forty nine dollars a share right now. Bitcoin uh, up to seventy thousand nine hundred. Oh, ama- amazing, right? Seventy thousand nine hundred. Right? It was. We were talking about it on this program. It seems like yesterday when it was thirty thousand. Uh, mm, now it's seventy. The uh, military industrial complex stocks Raytheon, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin mixed. Uh, milit- the, 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 the Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, the healthcare industrial complex, the people that bring you the holiest of holy vaccines are mixed as well. There's no action there at all. The action, Trump is taking away the, oh my God, look at Rivian. Rivian, $11.20. $11.20 up 19 cents this morning. Tesla's down. Rivian up to 11 11 a share. Is that the is that the buy of the century? Rivian at eleven. I think history might just tell us that if we go back in time and say oh, this guy fucking this, this internet guy man this guy on on the internet said buy Rivian when it was ten. Uh, he said buy it at eleven. I uh, buy it, and, and now it's fucking two hundred. Right? Uh, it might be one of those stocks. Might be. Uh, let's look at one more piece from uh, Elon Musk. What was the other one? Affirmative action. Yeah, here's the person. This is my insulin. 
I take it every day. Uh -huh. It used to cost me $800 a month. Uh -huh. That's outrageous. It is. Thankfully, Congressman Matt Cartwright right. voted for a plan capping the price of insulin at just $35 a month. For $35 okay. for so something that costs Let's talk about diversity. Equity, let's talk about it. All right. That's been a target of yours lately on X. You, uh, on, there was a repost of Ben Shapiro. Mm -hmm. You claim that DEI is killing people specifically... You point to medicine. You claim that DEI programs are putting people at risk. I think we watched this Do you this really already. believe this to be true? And what evidence do you have to support it? Um, what I was referring to there was that if, uh, if we lower the standards for doctors... Right. Uh, so uh, we, already, we already watched this about lowering the standards for doctors. Um, I, I guess that's it then. I guess we got it. We got it all. We got it all. I'm gonna, I'll kill it right there. And so uh, thank you all for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't know. I, I mean, my, my take on it is that you're watching, you watch something like this and it's hard to, it's not, it's hard to not agree. It, they're so different. The two people, Don Lemon and, and Elon Musk, they're such different characters. It's hard to, it's hard to watch and not find yourself agreeing with one and, and, almost completely disagree, disagreeing with the other, right? And in this case, Elon Musk is the winner, right? He, he seems to be coming from a place of truth and not formulated opinions like Don Lemon, Don Lemon the whore, right? What does Don Lemon make in the world? What does he make? He makes noise. What does Elon Musk make? He makes great electric cars. He makes spaceships. He makes... Um, he makes internet platforms that that uh, that support yeah, American freedom. <laughs> look at look at look at the words coming out of their mouth, and then look at their lives. Right? Elon Musk owns nothing. He says he sleeps on people's couches, and oh, he doesn't sleep on anybody's couch. But he he probably stays in four star hotels wherever he goes. And so he's always got a place to stay. Right? But he doesn't he doesn't own anything. He's, it's someone to listen to, right? It's some someone to listen to instead of the uh, the money grabbing uh, uh, Don Lemon. So fascinating fascinating interview for our times. Uh, the great Elon Musk only getting uh, uh, greater as uh, time goes on. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you. Thank you everybody in the chat. William R. Hall is here. Vinny D. Martini on the wrench. Thank you, thank you, Vinny, for the uh, for the wrenching. Uh, Weevil Girl as well on the wrench. Um, happy Easter. Oh, right. Easter, Easter, uh, Easter Sunday, Easter Sunday to all the, to the, um, observers of, of, uh, oh, that makes, that makes tomorrow. When is Easter? Easter, Easter, Easter is today. Easter is Sunday. Tomorrow, yeah, Sunday, Sunday. And which makes, uh, tomorrow, um, <clears throat> tomorrow is good Friday, right? Friday. That's the, uh, the day that the Jews... The day the Jews, the Jews, when the Jews nailed uh, Jesus to the cross was on Good Friday. The Christians call that a good day uh, because Jesus was dying for the sins of the money grabbing people who, who uh, you know, nailed him to the cross. And then, and then he rises on Easter. He, they put him in the tomb. Right? They think he's dead. And they're poking him with sticks to make sure he's dead. And uh, after they nailed him and beat him and fucking crucified him, they stick him in, in the tomb. Uh, this is the story. This is the story of, of Jesus, right? They stick him in the tomb, and, and, and there for three days he comes to life. And he rises, right? And everybody sees him around him, sees him rise, and the tomb stone has been moved, and, and, and he has risen. Right? So that's what, that's what Easter is. It's the rising of of Jesus, who can never die, is eternal, is forever. It's a human being who was conceived immaculately without any in and out, right? And, and he, he became, and, and he rose, right? And he taught people about stuff. <laughs> religion, religion's fascinating, man. So, uh, so I, I like religion, man. So uh, thank you all for joining me and uh, contribute. Watch the uh, Granny. Go, go watch. Uh, I love Granny Cat. There's uh, previously unreleased uh, photos. This is for just my my camera roll. It's actually not even my camera roll. So a significant other's uh, camera roll for the most part. Different view. A different view of Granny Cat. See you guys Monday. 
Happy Easter, everybody. Radhe 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 